Tonight, we uncover the nightmares faced by Britain's bouncers. <laughs> the new generation coming through, I've no fear. Let's see how fast you're all running out and how are you little pricks. <laughs> Doorman, old and new, reveal what it takes to police the door. You can judge within a 10 or 15 second as they're walking towards them. This guy's coming in. This guy's not. There's a front door war of words. All right. You don't believe I've had my head smashed against every fucking wall. If eight doormen had done him over in a fire exit, I don't think he'd have a little scratch in his head, really. And we meet the oldest swinger in town tonight on Bouncers. It's Saturday night in Warrington and Mr Smith's is preparing itself for another night of excess. <music> Whilst over in Blackpool, Club Sanook is opening its doors to the hordes of weekend warriors. In the past, bouncers of the old school spoke with their fists, but now stricter laws mean violence is out. Stood mouth enough, move away. So when it all kicks off, what's best, fighting or talking? Pair of pricks. <laughs> seven pound, folks. Oh, seven money ready. <laughs> At Club Sanook in Blackpool, they're already pulling them in. I love you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> This is Joker, Kev Mill. He's a doorman at Club Sanook, he's 42, and he's been on the doors for 15 years. There's the, the, the talkers and there's the ones that want to be the big macho doorman type, you know, but uh, I've always found it easier to talk to people. It's early doors and Kev is knocking back his annoying namesake. My name's Kev. Hey, What's your name? Kev. My name's Kev. Oh, Kev. Kev. No, it's Kev. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, then it isn't. Yeah. yeah. It's Bob. Right. <laughs> What's his name? Bro. What's his name? Kev. Oh, Kev. Oh, you fucking joke. I'm a I got you, though, didn't they call him Kev? <laughs> <laughs> All this trick in the book. Kev is having no luck trying to charm his way in tonight. Hey, to be fair, you're acting like a bit of clown now, aren't you? Why don't you go back into town? I'm not done fuck all. No, no, well, don't hang around here, mate. Let's go and get a drink Kev, somewhere yeah, else, all right? He, he was just going on, wanting to come in, um, sorted off after about 10 or 15 minutes, come back with his uh, sailor's hat on, and uh, which was a good disguise, really. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? I know you put a hat on, but it's hardly the best disguise. It <laughs> fool me for a minute. <laughs> it would fool you, yeah. Oh, it's Kev. <laughs> <laughs> Never would have noticed you until you took that hat off. I'm 20 years old. This is Dave Burnett. A door supervisor, 24, been on the doors six years. I think the best doormen in the world are, are definitely talkers that can talk people out. You know, they might be the softest guys in the world, but they can talk people out of the situation, and that's the key. Christine. OK, if you go through on the left, please, guys, OK? But sometimes words just aren't enough, and when a guy's army ID isn't accepted, it's a test for Dave's new school ways. He's in the army! He's 23 as well. Oh, mate, these fuckers don't accept what I'm fucking doing. That, well, are we going to there? Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Yeah. 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 Step off the door, please, fella. Step off the door. Don't stay. Get in it. Get back. 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 Which proves we've done our job right, because once those guys get in there, they're not going to suddenly be nice guys in there, are they? Take them away before the police come and take them away. Your choice. Let's go. Okay, no problem. 
I'm in a fucking parachute regiment, right? I'm fucking nine years of age, and they're fucking me off. And you can see he wasn't happy with us. Um, but, yeah, like you say, it's part of the job, isn't it? I served for this fucking country, and you fuck me off. Fuck off! The bouncers of old live for this kind of kick-off, and frankly, they think the new guys are just not up to the job. You could be 18 years old, have never had a fight in your life, never had a confrontation, know nothing about door work, do a course and you're a doorman. Uh, they stood and I'm a bouncer, I'm a bouncer, we couldn't bounce a ball, most of them. He can do all the moves, he can have all the training, but he wouldn't do with some of the situations we're faced with. But the top of the shape, that's as big as peas. In Warrington, a silver fox is dusting off his party clobber. Looking good. A few lines at bingo's not enough for the oldest swinger in town. This is 78-year-old Stan Smith. Oh, my gosh. A living legend. Every weekend, Stan the man's out hitting the pubs and clubs. Oh, my gosh. He's been around the block a few times as Stan, but there's life in the old Come dog on. yet. Yeah, He's got an eye for the ladies, even for the older woman. You get your pictures, she's 88, I'm only 78, and she's doing very well. Don't tell it. I'm 88 and still going strong. <laughs> You're looking beautiful anyway, darling. You're looking beautiful. I wasn't I... bad looking about 40 years ago. Well, I can't take it over because I've got a headache. Yeah. But I've got to go, man. Let's go, man, let's go. One, two, three, four, four o'clock rock, five, six, seven, eight o'clock rock, I'm going to rock around the clock tonight, man. As Stan heads off to Mr Smith's, bouncers from the old days knew that what counted most was being a good scrapper. The old school were just guys that could have a good fight, would go on the door and nobody would fuck with them. I would never ever take any back chat or shit off anybody. Nine times out of ten they were all ugly bleeders like me. Today's bouncers have had to clean up their act, and they're all vetted by the government to weed out the thugs. Firm but fair is the new creed. This is elder statesman Keith Shaw. He's head doorman at Mr Smith's. He's 38 years old, and he's stood on the doors for 21 years. People go out and... They, 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 they do drink too much, a lot of them. And they'll, they'll come in the club and they're just staggering everywhere. It's 11 p.m. The pubs have kicked out and the folk arriving at Smith's are all in high spirits. Smith's is the best! Woo! Why you going to come to Smith's? Best! Maybe it's age, maybe, maybe I'm getting old, but I think the crackers. And Tracy here is a prime example. <laughs> Girls these days seem to to go out to get drunk, to go over the top. Women are not far behind men. I think they're catching men up very, very quickly. Oh dear. Never mind, love. Yes, darling. Here we go, right. Apparently she's got no knickers on. What are these? You liar. No, I've got uh, you've got, no, you've got knickers got on. Boxes. You've got Bridget Jones knickers. Look at them. You should have a lacy thong on. You should have a lacy thong like that. Oh, this is a moment of love. Steady. Back in Blackpool, Dave and Kev are called inside to deal with Kev the Pest, who sneaked in through the side door. That's the lead, mate, OK? We've told you once already, mate, you're not coming in, OK? Everyone loves a trier, but it's game over for this persistent young pup. I might be a little bit drunk. But I tried to get in, yeah? And just get in. because I started fighting last week, yeah? They wouldn't let me in. Kev tries his luck at the side door again. No, you can't get to me. The ship's left. <laughs> oh, shit. 
<laughs> well, you're the captain, mate. You missed the ball. I'm sorry. Like that. Crash <laughs> and burn. See ya. I'm just wondering like, how you'd have sort of dealt with that sort of situation in the 70s, you know, when you had started the door and that. Probably give him a clip round the ear and said, don't ever come back in here. <laughs> <laughs> and don't make us look at that again. So. But would you have slipped your number in his pocket like you did then oh, as well? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Told him to come round with his sailors out on yeah. and just that. Can have it back now. <laughs> will you wear it for me? <laughs> hey, just walk Natalie, please. Well, let's go to Smith's, man. Back in Warrington, it's approaching midnight and Stan has Smith's in his sights. The manager and the drawman here agree because they look after the police and they look after the stand the man. Warrington! He's a character, isn't he? All the girls are all over him, the lads are all over him. and He's like a, a cult figure, I suppose, if you like. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. How are you doing? Yeah, grab me out here. Yeah, I'm over something. Just a bit. Outside, time's getting on, and Tracy is still trying her charm offensive. Are you? Swims this way. I'm not saying it's a level. Coming up, there's an old-fashioned ruck at Smith's. Dave's new school ways are put to the test. Why is this plus? Why is this plus? And Tracy tries to make herself useful. I can't get no sleep. It's gone midnight at Mr. Smith's in Warrington and the place is jumping. And legendary old raver Stan the Man shows no signs of flagging. Outside Smith's, manager Les is still having to deal with Tracy, who won't take no for an answer. But they're not keeping all the drunks outside. Here's one that slipped through the net. And just when he thinks it couldn't get any worse... Tracy's a real Florence Nightingale. For those lucky enough to make it inside, though, the party is in full swing. Suddenly, the atmosphere sours and the dance floor erupts into violence. The old-fashioned doorman would have loved a scrap like this, but Keith doesn't believe in meeting violence with violence. I don't think there's a need for people to go over the top. Uh, you need to use minimal force to do what you have to do. And once... Once they're no longer a threat, then that's enough. Outside, the argument has spilled out onto the street. It looks like we could be in for round two, so Keith calls for the cops. Just behind the phone box, we've got a group of lads and girls. Uh, they're all fighting. Ah, is it? 
<laughs> there's the police there now. Police have just got out. But as the police arrive, Keith's in for a surprise. He discovers it's his doorman that are under investigation. Is there any chance we can get a list of your door stuff off you? Um, it's a situation that would not have gone down well with the old guard. Club door register. 25, 30 years ago, you had a fight with someone. If it, if it come to that, there'd be no such thing as them going to the police and uh, this doorman's hit me and then this and that. You weren't fr afraid to go out the back and have a fight with someone, whereas now everywhere's camera up, you can't, it, it's hard way. Now, if you push a customer, or just look at them wrong, you know, you do, it's common and soul. People are so much more switched on to the law and what they can do and what they can get away with. It's, it's, the, it's the, the mad side of political correctness. It's 1am and over at Sanook, Dave is dealing with the usual monkey business. I feel like one of these Can I be graphic, or...? Come in the side door. Yeah, no problem, I'll look out for him. But there's trouble on the horizon. Another test for Dave's non-violent methods. Body language is, is the key now to, to sort of diffusing situations. Calm down. Why is this blood? Let's Why is this blood? I believe, I believe you've been fighting inside with another individual, OK? You so believe I've been fighting inside? This is what inside. I've been told, OK? You believe I've been fighting inside? This is what I've been told, all right? So you don't believe I've got my head smashed against every fucking wall right. on the way out? I'll tell you what, machine. let's calm down first. I'll talk to you when you calm down first, OK? He's pulled the, the textbook answer of the doorman did me over in the fire exit, um, which we know it, it doesn't go on. Well, what was going on was I was dragged down the stairs, smashed on the way down the stairs. You dragged down the nice dark corridor. You smashed fuck out of. You kicked. You beat him. You smashed in the face. You kicked in the head, and that's it. That's all there is to it. The guy had a little scratch on the top of his head. If, if eight doormen had done him over in a fire exit, I don't think he'd have a little scratch in his head really. It seems some are still to be convinced of the new breed's softly, softly approach. It weren't a gentle escort. You know how what doormen are supposed to be. It weren't at all. It, they kicked fuck out of me down the stairs. It was ruthless. It was fucking... It was just ruthless. New licences are all well and good, but one thing the old guard value above all else is experience. The best doormen are the guys who are not doing the job for their own egos. Yeah, they're doing it because they feel they've got the qualities to do that job. No matter what the doorman's training does, it doesn't teach you how to do the job. It teaches you the aspects of what might happen on the job. It's only experience what, what counts. You must have a doorman who's stood on the door, who knows the ropes, and he can judge within a 10 or 15 second as they're walking towards them. This guy's coming in. This guy's not. <laughs> Back at Smith's, Keith is having to rely on his experience to deal with a punter furious at being thrown out. What the fuck's that? Get the fuck off! Get the camera away! Nice, but respect these days is hard to find. When I first started the doors, there was certain doormen in Liverpool, uh, very, very well known, and you would not cross them. The mere name of them, you would not cross them. Big bounces, aren't you? Me, big bounces, hey, big bounces. <laughs> the new generation coming through, I've no fear. Let's see how fast you run. Let's see how fast he's all running half an hour, you little pricks. Fucking divvies. That'll be the famous Scouse wit then. If we throw people out, the number of people who will goad us into trying to hit them and assault them. They all know what they're doing. Big bad men, are you? Are you? Big hard knocks. Yeah, big bounces. Yeah, big hard bastards, are you? Why? I'll show you why. Just tell us yeah or no. We'll just fucking show up. I don't want to do what I need. Why? Why? Have you got a bulletproof on? Who? You. I, I can do anything I want. Threats like this are par for the course as far as Keith is concerned. 
Yeah. He, he just said, uh, something about us wearing bulletproof vests. So, he just ignored it. Just ignored it. Heard it all before. Back inside and Smith's is still partying hard. But it's getting on, and Stan decides it's nearly time to head home for a nice cup of cocoa. Over in Blackpool, it's turfing out time at Sanook, and as usual, the holidaymakers are doing their bit for the local tourist board. You are an emotional wreck, you don't know who you are. You never see what you need. I'm sorry, what? Send me the lot, all in. I've just lost my bag. Well, you don't need to worry about it. The bouncers, they So, whilst times may change, the one thing that stays the same is the punters. And they're still as bonkers as ever. Leaving the madness outside, Dave shuts up shop for another night. The last dance has finished at Mr Smith's and it's time to head out into the night. A night on the lash has taken its toll on some revellers. And into this madness steps Stan with just enough time to show his appreciation for Dorman Keith. The Dorman of years ago were different. The Dorman of today are intelligent, but not they're not bullies, they know the score. And they, I wouldn't like to look after these 800 kids out here. No way. But these guys do a good job. And any problems, they're, they're there, man, they grab them. <laughs> Ouch, man, no problem. No problem whatsoever. Thanks, Stan. No. See you later, Stan. Soon after. Bye now. Bye, bye, bye. Fucking knock some fucker out, eh? Come on, then, yeah? 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 Next time on Bouncers, Blackpool, an outrageous party town for hens and stags. But tempers flare when a stag is knocked back. Plastic fucking action.